In Drogheda, in Ireland's ancient east, the spire of St. Peter's Church dominates the skyline, soaring over the streets below, visible from many miles away, all along the Boyne Valley. Built in 1884 in a French Gothic style, it incorporates an earlier church constructed in 1791 to a design by Francis Johnston, the same Francis Johnston who went on to design one of Ireland's most iconic buildings, the General Post Office in O'Connell Street in Dublin. It is very unusual to have a church from this era in the centre of any town in Ireland, given that the penal laws and hostility from the Church of Ireland minority meant that Catholic churches of the era were usually to be found outside town walls or in back streets. To this day, the beautiful stained glass windows and the highly decorative interiors are testament to the loyalty of the parishioners of St. Peter's to their faith, speaking of the sacrifices made by so many as they funded the building of the church and the commissioning of the marble altar, the mosaics and the statuary. St. Peter's continues to be a place of worship and reflection in the centre of a bustling town, both for its own parishioners and for the thousands of visitors who come to this church each year. But it's not only the beauty of St. Peter's that attracts such numbers. Housed in a special shrine are the relics of St. Oliver Plunkett, who was executed in England in 1681. As Archbishop of Armagh and Primate of all Ireland, he was to fall victim to the anti-Catholicism of the English state. And after a show trial in London, he was hung, drawn and quartered at Tyburn Hill. His relics were brought back to Drada in the 1920s when he was beatified. When he was canonised in 1975, St. Oliver Plunkett became the first new Irish saint for nearly 700 years. St. Peter's is a special church, welcoming you into an oasis of peace and tranquility. It remains at the beating heart of Drada, gently enfolding history within its arches, its candles and its rituals.